Hello guys, this is Joseph from Joe Concepts. How is everything with us? All right, um, working with lights have, um, is a very key thing in um, this industry and it is very important for you to know how and to understand how well to mix your lights and then in the scene. But there have always been issues and I'm talking about myself where I would do a project and then the client would tell me that Oh, I should change this light. I should change uh, stuff like this, the intensity of this light and all that for that. Then I have to go back, change those things and render. And that has been pain for me. But then since I found out about this two, the game has changed for me. So that is what this tutorial is going to be about. We're going to be looking at light mix in Corona, how you can make use of the light mix. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to set up your light mix and then look at some basic things you can change in your light mix. So let's just get into Cinema 4D and see how we will do that. I've already set up a scene. I was trying to set up a scene for us to do that. And I've created the lights that I need in the scene. So I have my um, Corona Sky, which is more like the global illumination lights. And I have my windows light and I have my room light and then main light and sunlight. So if I go out of this camera, it's not something Hard. So I have the two window lights here, yeah? okay? So if you check the two window lights, they have the same intensity. And then I just chose a hue of blue value for this. Then this is my main light, the one that is very close to this main outdoor. So that is it here, my main light. And notice the value I have here. Then I also have a sunlight that is bringing that um, hard shadow for my scene. Then I now have um, Corona Sky, which is what you're seeing right there. Then on top of this, I created another, another light, which is inside this room here. And that's, that is the room light, you can already see. Okay, so that, those are just the basic things we have here. Then if I go into this and quickly do a fast render here, you're going to see um, what I am going to have just to do a fast render, then you can see that. Okay, so you can see. So we have the interaction of the sun coming in and other lights. All right, so that is what we have. Um, I, let me stop this and we render. So that's pretty much what we have it. So as at this time, I don't have um, control over the lights. I don't have control over how I want a particular light to be, the intensity, the hue, value of this light. Because if I go over to my light mix, yeah, you notice it's telling me that I don't have any light mix set up for me. So I need to go and set up this light mix. So how can I set up this light mix? So what you need to know is that for you to set up your light mix, that can be done under your multipass. So if you go to your Corona, you have your multipass. So if you click on the multipass, this comes up here. So you want to scroll down from here till you see your light mix. So you have these two values, light mix and light select. So what do they mean? So just understand, um, once you understand um, material blender, so when you blend two materials together, then you understand it. So for you to blend two materials, you should have materials that you're going to be blending. So the same thing with this. So light select will allow you to select a particular light which you want to have. Then the light mix is what is going to be adding those, mixing those lights together. All right, so let's look at selecting light first. So I'll select, go to light select and add this over here. So once I have this, I'll click on this. It tells me to name this light. So let's say I want to make this sunlight. So I'll just say sunlight. So once I have that, notice it's renamed here. Then how can I now select this and make it um, my sunlight? So there are two ways. You can either drag the sunlight over here or click on this icon. Once you click on this, it tells you to select what you want. Click on Corona Sun. Notice Corona Sun comes here. So if I hit Escape to go out, I now have my Corona Sun. So that means by the time I render, I will have control over my sun.
all right so we're going to be adding different lights here so i'll go to this another way is dragging this over here so i'm going to be dragging different lights that i have if you notice i have one two three four five and six thereabouts so i already have one two three four five and six so for this next light i'm going to call this my main light so i can double click on this and just say main light notice it is renamed here so let's just quickly walk through this so main lights i'll drag the main light over to this place so this one is going to be the room light and drag over here then for this i have my window light one light one and drag the window light one over here so this is going to be my window light and drag this over here then the last one is going to be my sky so i'll drag the sky light over here so that's just basically how you can select this light so that means i have room to control the sun differently from this and other ones so so once I have all these lights selected, the next thing I want to do is to bring in my light mix. If I click here, I have my light mix here. Okay. All right. So once you have your light mix here, so that is pretty much all you need. So the light mix is what is going to allow you to mix those things. It is not enough for you to have your select light. The light mix is very important. Then the other thing you need to do is you need to enable your multipass because that is what will allow you to do that. So I click on enable multipass and I can close this. Then I'm going to hit render again and let's see what we're going to have. So if I do another render, I'm going to see all this, this scene going up. So this is person and then my light should come up. All right. So I have my lights and the good thing with this, I have my scene rendering now. So the good thing with this now, if I go over to my light mix, I now have room to now control all those things. So if I decide to say, okay, I don't like this sun, I can go to the sun, deactivate the sun, and notice the sun is off. All right. So I can say, okay, um, I want the sun, I want to see the effect of only the sun. And I'm just going to deactivate everything. You see the effect of only the sun and maybe adding it with the skylight you see the effect so if you feel that the skylight is not um the effect is not enough if you notice the skylight is here but the effect is not it's not that enough you can decide to now come to the intensity and multiply let me just go over about five you notice the effect of the skylight moving from one to five which you have this if i make this 10 you have that effect even much more all right so if i deactivate the so i only have the skyline so from here you can change many things okay so the other thing if you also look at this so let's say that this main light i want to get rid of the sun i just want to have the effect of my main light and the sky or you could just work with one of these lights individually till you are fine so let's say um this one is if you feel it's too much, you can see maybe we want to bring this down 0.8. If you like that, then you can now see, okay, let's look at the room lights. You see the room light also, look at the effect of the room light. That's what is giving this room the light. So if I want to increase this, I can increase this. All right. So that is that. So that is not enough. That is not all. Also, the other thing, another thing you can do is also if I feel that this room light, I want to colorize it. I can just go to this search, click here. And choose the color that I want. So if I want to have this um, greenish color, you can see the effect I'm already having here. So maybe I want to have a tint of um, this oranges, orangish um, red color, and you notice automatically it changes and add it to this sky. So if I want to complement this, I can just make my son also give it that hue so it seemed like still the same thing that is bleeding into the room so you can change these things honestly this is um game changing and i since i got this i've had a lot of um 
I've had a lot of better renders and it doesn't really take time. Anytime you want to change anything, your rendering is still going on. You cannot already notice the rendering is still going on. I and while it's going on, I can change those information. So if I feel that the window lights are too much, I can just say 0 0.2. And same thing for here. You notice the effect in real time. So um, this is just what I wanted to share with you guys. And if you feel this was helpful, please do give me a thumbs up and like because it helps me in the YouTube algorithm. If you also feel you have um, comments and better things about this, you could also put in the description below and for everybody to learn. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe because I do tutorials like this every time. And this also helps me. So do have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.